Password management. If you have different passwords after a while, this is already a pain in the ass if you have that in your pocket and it's thick, just annoying to carry around. The solution is something like this. So a where you could store the key on the card and if you lose it, you just reset the key. Let's have a look at one password, one login. What are the differences? When should you use what? And is that actually a secure thing? First of all, these tools are better than not having these tools because they enable you to have different passwords for different accounts. The biggest problem with password security is that people use a weak password and use the same password for every account. So let's consider one password as a more for like private or small teams tool where you can like set a master password, it stores it and encrypts the database locally in your computer. And you can set a password for every different account. It generates you a complete random, very long password that you don't need to remember. You just remember your master password. Stuff like one login on the other side is a tool that you can use as an admin um, or for your company where you actually manage the different user accounts. So let's say you have many cloud tools like lots of our companies and clients have. You have like more than 50 cloud tools, for example. You would use a tool like one login to actually give every user just one login, as the name says. And with that login, every account is connected. Is that secure? It's definitely more secure than giving the user a password, which is complicated and long, and they just stick it to the wall. They put it underneath the computer, also very secure. This is the main difference between these two tools. So one password is more like for your personal password management, small teams and accounts that you share in the team. Let's say you have a shared LinkedIn account, a shared Twitter account, and forward the password via email, which is super dangerous to do. One login or their competitor Okta are like more for enterprises where you can connect different cloud accounts and just give the employee one account and whenever they arrive they receive just this one account so the onboarding is straight on and whenever you offboard a user you have the big advantage just one click and all the accounts and the access to the accounts is gone if they lose the devices you can log off they can use different devices for like two-step verification let's say they have two phones for example you have an overview of all the accounts they need and you don't forget by accident one account that is connected with the one login account tool. What I wouldn't do though is in any case don't store the super 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 important password bank account in these accounts. I never wrote it down. I haven't stored it anywhere. It's never in one of these accounts. It's the master password I just remember. So this is a very important one to reset a lot of things. But if you want to plan to grow a company and you want to have an easy user management that can scale with the users, one login or Okta are ways to go. The big advantage of one login is you have a lot of accounts that you can connect with it. It's not only Google, it's Salesforce, Zendesk, Zoho. And there are so many accounts that you can connect to one login automatically. With Okta, the pricing is a bit different. Have a look at it. If if you run a business with a lot of cloud tools like we do, no matter if it's Office 365 or G Suite, definitely a way to go to have a better security layer for your people and better security with less effort than before. Like that, even a small company or a very lean IT team or a very lean founder team can keep an overview over the data in the company. And today data is key, especially when you work in the cloud. So you want to make sure you have the best possible access from anywhere, but the minimum effort to get there. You don't wanna have these super complicated passwords and things. I hope that was helpful to you. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Let's discuss it, if you use these tools or not. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you like, and I see you next week.